Ahoy everyone, it is the Cursed Captain, and in today's video, I'm going to propose to you an idea of adding a new tall tale to help us all find and hunt down the elusive shrouded ghost that we've all been looking for. I think we have an awesome opportunity with the introduction of tall tales to add fun side stories, and what better place to start than with the myth? the lie, the absolute 100% tall tale that is the Shrouded Ghost. Here is what I am thinking. This new tall tale would start with none other than one of our favorite pirates on the seas, Merrick in which, after talking to Merrick, he shares that since the retreat of the Hungarian one back into the deep, he has seen and heard of many other Megalodons terrorizing the Sea of Thieves, but there is none as dangerous as the Shrouded Ghost. He proceeds to tell you a tale of a ship that went into the Shroud hunting down the beast after her rare meat. The ship entered the Shroud and with some sacrifices that would entice the elusive beast, but was never heard of again. Anyways, at this point, Merrick would give you a book of clues, hinting towards where you can find the sacrifices that are required to lure out the shrouded ghost. So you would need to set sail, figure out the clues, and get those sacrifices. Granted, when I think about this, I think that one of the things you need to toss overboard to entice the shrouded ghost is none other than a red feckled chicken. Ah, that's right, that's right, Larry, I'm looking at you. All right, boys, just kidding, just kidding, Falcor. But maybe a white pig could be introduced in the world that you would need to capture and offer up to the Shrouded Ghost. Anyways, once you get these sacrifices, you must travel back to Merrick where he will retrofit your ship with the Shroud Breaker. And then you travel to the south into the Shroud. Here's where it could get really interesting. My proposal for the actual hunting of the Shrouded Ghost would be that as soon as you enter the Red Seas, the Shroud descends on you and your ship, and you must then sacrifice your offerings and continue to sail aimlessly into the Shroud until eventually the Shrouded Ghost breaks out of the seas and the fight is on. I would love to see some differences though in this fight versus when you fight other Megs. How awesome would it be if not only was a Shrouded Ghost harder to kill, and not only was it much larger than all the other Megs in the seas, but what if Rare added the ability that if you got knocked off this ship, which with her harder hitting bites would be a higher likelihood, you would need to quickly get back onto your own ship, or she would be able to swallow you whole, sending you directly and straight to the ferryman himself. It would cause so much fear in a pirate if you got knocked all overboard, and then knowing that the shrouded ghost would then try to swallow you whole, it could be quite terrifying, and I would love to see something like that. It would also be awesome to see the beast be able to cause damage to your masts and other areas of your ship. There's a lot of fun opportunities I think Rare could do with this fight and I would love to hear what you guys think, so make sure to comment below with your ideas. After killing the Shrouded Ghost, she would drop her special white meat that when taken back to Merrick, he gives you a ton of rep for Hunter's Call and the tall tale is complete. If Rare did something like this, it would add so much fun to the seas and bring us all back to the days of fighting the Hungering One and give all those new Swabies a proper introduction to the terror of the deep. Anyways, mates, thank you so much. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you love this content and you want to help support my channel, make sure to hit subscribe. It really does help me when you do that and encourages me to keep going. Thanks everyone for your support, and I hope to see you on the seas.